Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Solaris Multiplayer, featuring yours truly, Bundeser Bob. We also have some other folks here. We got Nems, Roach, Midgeman, Ben Magnus. Say hello, gentlemen. Hello. Hello. May the despotism variants continue, because that's what you, we truly all are. Dark may, may, may the great light of Zoom shine upon you. Spiders in space. Sodius Maximus. If my throat wasn't hurting, I'd make a roach impression right now. Flower power. <laughs> Yeah, no, exactly. No, Mitch, that was good. <laughs> it was, spot on, it, was spot on. Uh, it was either that. I mean, it was th that was either a, a Rochikin or an Umberhawk. <laughs> One of the two. I'm not. Sure. Oh, I know so what I need not to do. In this system. Right, I'm trying to find out where my space bar is. Oh, oh no, it's there. Port. Build the space. Yeah. I mean, they're not good space pirates if you can. Tell if you know where they are, they're not very good pirates. Complete. <laughs> and let's Tundra see World the World worst World pirate World. I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me. Oh, God. Back to Disney shit. <laughs> I keep forgetting that's a Disney movie. Everything's a Disney movie. All of them. They own everything. <laughs> they haunt him in his sleep. So there's quite a few YouTubers. There it is. Well, now, isn't now, isn't Polaris? Is that, is that guy that's like crazy with the all the shit drawn on the wall? Like, it's all so. it's all connected. It just goes it goes around and around and around, and we go from here to here. <laughs> Charlie and uh, 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 it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, that's a good episode. I gotta rewatch that. That's a good show. <laughs> oh, hey, I found a primitive civilization, early space age. For a second there, I thought you were going to be ben. like, I found a primitive civilization. It's the Legion of Magnus. <laughs> found Ben. Oh. I got to no, swore that's where he was going. It's sad because I have to spill blood this early. You don't have to kill him. <laughs> no. No, they're in my border, so I have to. Oh. So, time to get the, time to get the uh, cleansing troops ready. What the hell? What are you? Curator Lambda Enclave Station. Oh yeah, that's a part of the um, the Leviathan story pack, isn't it? I don't know. I know, but they're in my way. Kill oh god! Oh, I've met another the rail the rail tech coalition. So I'm fighting some throw my border. I'm fighting some summer <laughs> of bitches. That. Fighting some cultists oh. right now. Midge, seriously, are, and I'm, I'm thinking your choice of being a pacifist has really worked out for you. <laughs> no, you don't have to be rude, Roach. I'm not. I'm being truthful. I'm being God, just as truthful like as two thousand <laughs> Every time he gives a compliment, I'm sounding just as sincere. This is a big system. Did There's you? a lot of shit here. Kill it. Sincere. Sincere's a Romulan. <laughs> I bet the best, okay, the best deliverance of the word him. Romulan was Worf, and which one of those was in one of the movies? I can't remember which one. Romulan. So apparently, I have to change my laws, or else I can't get full bombardment. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What a already new. talking about killing everybody. Well, I mean, it's okay. the. It's so the cleanest the way of killing them. Have declared a rivalry on me. You already have a rival? Jesus Christ. I'm in the shit right now. Um, How do you change your laws? Where Where's that screen at? Um, I think it's you click on under, the, uh, the emblem in the upper left-hand corner, then go to government, maybe? So it's roaches are already boring on policies people. Policies and edicts, it's a uh, hotkey F8. Oh, yeah, there it is. Are you fighting someone like an actual empire? Or are you fighting some? Oh no! I'm cleansing a planet of an early space age society. Uh, okay, I was like, man, that's pretty early for war. Oh, he's, I mean, they're not real people. They're not real people. <laughs> he's reenacting Battlefield Earth, but from the position of the Cyclos. <laughs> oh come on! Let's not insult me here. I have much better acting ability. Oh, than let's than insult Cyclone. him. Yeah, Battlefield Earth is just one of those movies that's that is it's it's firmly in the category of so bad it's good. 
Yeah. Well, have like you have you read the, the book? Of Scientology. I have not read the book. I, the I book is that. like eleven hundred pages long, and it's it's I wouldn't call it good, but it's it's passable science fiction, as long as you don't take you know the whole Scientology thing into uh, <laughs> keep just keep that out of your brain. <laughs> oh just shit! We should totally make Zudu and Stellaris. Why haven't we done this? <laughs> Because I'd probably get sued. That's probably, probably yes. Probably. That's a thing. You're just gonna have a couple of guys not wearing suits show up to your door. So yeah, we're just uh, passing by, uh, fans of your uh, channel. You wouldn't have a, a minute a minute to talk about the the great and powerful Zenu, would you? Have you found Zenu? <laughs> I really you like it when we find uh, American the Mormons in, your body. in uh, the United Kingdom. And <laughs> what? That's a thing? Yeah, no Mormons. Oh, they, they, they go, go everywhere, dude. They go everywhere. Which is like, um, no, we fought in the Crusades. We know that's not true. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> we actually have a history over here that involves Jesus. Uh, <laughs> you have a bunch of them, in fact. America. Uh, hmm. Um, hmm. I I used to live in where I, I uh, when I before I moved to Florida I was from Rochester New York New York and uh, I lived about the home of Mormonism. Yeah, I lived about fifteen miles from Livonia where the whole Mormonism nonsense started. I live in Illinois and I actually live pretty close to uh, where Mormonism went after they were kicked out of where they actually started. <laughs> yeah, and they kicked they, they kicked them out of my town and went to Roaches. As well. <laughs> if you in the comments down below know the person that shot um joseph smith uh give him a, give him a high five uh that happened like 150 years ago so i don't think anybody mo personally knows him anymore well, you know they might know where the gravestone is they might know the story it's like jfk <laughs> they've got those files it's, it's oh, gonna say something whale. different this time space whale he's a good he's a good guy Oh boy. Sorry, everybody. This is just who we are. I swear, we're just no naturally terrible people. So, you know, this whole PewDiePie thing's happened. Oh, God. Yeah. What about him? <laughs> Can you imagine if they ever saw our videos? Oh, God. <laughs> you know, I was actually thinking about that. I was thinking, like, Jesus, they think that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> you should listen to the shit I say. <laughs> No, Demons Maw. So what could I read possibly into this go wrong? article not too long ago that was going over, uh, you know, especially after the election, there's a lot of uh, heightened tension, you know, between the Did left we... and the right and all that kind of stuff. The article really? was talking about how, how to how to how to tell if your friend is a Nazi was the, was the article. <laughs> I think you told us or, or to that effect. Oh, I have, I've told the story before, uh, but I don't, I don't think I've told this particular audience yet. Um, is the thing I kind of this kind of reminded me of the, the whole saying the PewDiePie thing reminded me of this and it was going through like if your friends are interested or your friend is interested in you know X Y and Z and like a lot of it was like very historical kind of stuff you know it's like I'm a historical gamer I like history stuff and mm. I just kept going to the list I just kept checking off the boxes and by the time I got to the end of it I was like well fuck I guess they're telling my friends I'm a Nazi <laughs> <laughs> do you know how to pronounce it pr properly pronounce the word Panzer <laughs> you may be a Nazi all the Jews in Javan. Hey, Deutschland, Deutschland, Wait, you're just on your first colony, Mitch? Yes. Oh, okay. I got two. I had my fleet eradicated twice. I don't I'm know not if anybody... I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I, I, first you colony? Should, you shouldn't be because you're trying to figure out how the buttons work before and you're like, oh, planet tiles. Like, I'm just going to say, you know, like, the Roach can quarantine administration consists of a number that's between one wait, and wait, three, wait, 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 but take away before, the two lower ones. Before, before you say that, let's that's convert true. this into Hearts of Iron 4 knowledge of enemy number of divisions. You can go. <laughs> <laughs> so the Roach can quarantine administration has anywhere between negative 100 and 6,000 colonies. Uh, <laughs> and we're pretty sure about those numbers, boss. <laughs> All of them called blue. Uh. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, so uh, our bom- our preliminary bombardment has killed two pops of this uh, of this Why? filthy population. So, so you you're not into slaves then? Oh no, they're. I mean, they spread disease. Why would we? Def- <laughs> why would we want slaves? Oh my! So, <laughs> Roach oh. is a clean freak. Uh, it's a wait, quarantine what? administration. <laughs> he was pretty upfront about that. Yeah. yeah. The whole purpose of this is to is to keep things clean and tidy. <laughs> Why are we getting all German up in this? Wow. Party, yeah, I heard that too. It's just like, whoa. Lean on tidy. If you have a friend who randomly uses the word unt instead of and, <laughs> he might be a Nazi. I don't even know what I built. What did I build? I, I mean, I somewhat feel away. bad for this population because not only are we bombarding them into the Stone Age and extinction, but we've also exploited every resource in their system for our own <laughs> needs already. There are people there. <laughs> Strip mine it. Kill the population. Well, they won't. They won't need it once you've killed them all. Exactly. True. That's. I mean, th- th- that that's our internal policy. Decision. I just gotta say, uh, I'm actually recording this with a smile on my face instead of my <laughs> face in my hands. <laughs> I'm actually having like non-ironic fun. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. Non-ironic fun. Oh god. You know what the sad part is? This is good. this isn't gonna get anywhere near as many views as Hoy Four. Oh, I know. <laughs> I like I watch highest when, grossing series for everybody. When I first recorded huh? Stellaris, it was racking like 600 views a video, and Hearts of Iron at the same time was racking in like three to four thousand and i was just like come on this game's fun right right <laughs> <laughs> you know you like it too Research complete. Oh, what did i finish uh tell me i'm pretty <laughs> <laughs> man i may actually have to go to war here da, 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 da. Bit of paradox really, uh... is, is the is the xenomorph like tepid about war like, <laughs> no no i just i've run out of places to not go to war and and colonize basically <laughs> there's too much shit to research i gotta make a, just another fucking ship oh good that's in my system <laughs> when, whenever midge is happy about something and he always just sounds a little too happy about it <laughs> Oh, I love it. This is this is a good crew we've assembled, I think. Those chuckle fucks. <laughs> Frozen world. Frozen sounds almost like Tundra. Come on, you can live there. Close enough. Let's see how the reducing of the population is working. <laughs> Controlled breeding program. Yeah, I mean, they're not... It's a controlled debris. Through high high energy (laughs) plasma discharge. Yeah. Actually, what what the fuck do we use as weapons? We use missiles. (laughs) Nobody we shoot out of our ships again. Oh, no, lasers. No, I remember now. Because lasers made sense because they cauterize and burn things. So, I mean, that was the closest thing I could get to a flamethrower on a spaceship scale. So. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Okay. The pacifist fire nukes. I'm going for the whole Gandhi thing. So you you um, and fire, dude. Your D&D <laughs> character is the same thing. We got a problem. Set it on fire. <laughs> to be fair, the only reason Coswin has a predominantly large amount of fire spells is uh, because I had no fucking idea how to do a, uh, a sorcerer in 5th edition. I read a guide on how to build the spells uh, for a uh, sorcerer. What was good, what wasn't to pick. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, I didn't realize it at the time, but it assumed that you went with the most optimal build, which was a, uh, dragonborn sorcerer who was a red dragon and used the dragon, um, uh, wild magic system, which means that every fire spell you cast as a half dragon, as a dragonborn red dragon, as a dragon ancestry gives you five extra damage on every attack. That's a few. No, that's that's a lot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm Cosmo's already doing like twenty damage with his fireballs. 
<laughs> just, just, just imagine well, that. Generally, what that. happens when you attack? It's just the fire bolts, or the, the, the like, the, the the fire beams, or whatever the fuck you're using, just fly by and impact the wall behind you and set something else on fire or immolate someone immediately. Exactly. Oh. Emulation is the way to go. Speaking Ooh. of which, let's see how this population is doing. <laughs> nope, still alive. <laughs> I have to, gonna have to step up the bombardment. <laughs> oh, hey, look. Where's that Zabran again? Quotes from Ben. In this oh, hey, it's another. <laughs> gonna it's send another waves another and waves species. of my own men directly into the enemy death cannons, clogging them with wreckage. So I found another primitive civilization. I found this one. This one's Iron Age. Uh, and oh uh, fuck, Theta! I I just found two two K stacks orbiting a black hole. Oh, oh those I'm are not gonna go those there. are raiding me by any chance. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna go there. <laughs> Survey the system. <laughs> Literally all eleven ships of the Roachkin. Quarantine Navy, or just <laughs> just been sitting above this Contact planet. Report Leviathan. Uh, oh dear. Yeah. There's a black hole here. Survey complete. God, I may have to actually send troops. I may have to put boots on the ground. I found a Death Star outside of a black hole. Fucking can't kill him quick enough. That's you're not your lasers aren't efficient enough to kill everybody. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be boots on the ground. It would be. If only uh, you had more effective lasers. <laughs> yeah, would, what would you have? It would be, be multi-joint. It'd be multi-jointed, uh, hard-shelled appendages used for locomotion. Mo oh, the carapaces. Ground. There you go. <laughs> yeah, carapaces on the ground. <laughs> Got to get those carapaces on the ground. Very, very strange Wait, role reversal just... when the roach is wearing like the nuclear like isolation <laughs> suit. Yeah. No, that's the whole point. That's what I went with with this. I thought it'd be fucking hilarious if instead of the of like you seeing the roach and you like it, it gets on your hand or something and you go like oh oh and then like you get like hand sanitizer. Mm -hmm. The roach fine. The roach like shakes your hand and then immediately like turns around and just like starts uh, just like starts wiping rubbing it, it off. Like, 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 yeah, wipe it off. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, the Humi touched me. <laughs> the Humi. Construction complete. I think I think that was also part of the first thing I did was I uh, in the multiplayer games when we first started doing these, um, like uh, what somebody was playing like a fox race and like we agreed on something. And he, he's just like, it means he's just like all right, let's shake hands. On. Like, it was something. It was yeah. It might have been snow, but it might also have been somebody else. I'm not sure. But it was like all right, let's snow shake hands. Sly with <laughs> playing as foxes. Uh, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and he's like, let's shake on. It's just like, how about not? Let's just, we'll just, let's just we'll not agree. Let's just we'll not on it. Let's just not. System survey complete. Midge, are you surveying right next to that two? Or who found the two two thousand people? Me. Are you surveying a system just to the northwest of that? I am. Hmm. I see you. The roll that beautiful. I can see you, Kirk. Can you see me? Uh oh. No, oh, hey, we killed another pop. That's good. Was it was was the singularity the BX seven nine nine? Yes, sir. It's oh, you. we must be mm, bumping into each other. You know, I have to say, like, uh, I like this game a lot. But if there was one thing I wish it did that one other grand strategy or like four X, uh, like Space Empire game did, mm -hmm. was in Sword of the Stars. Every oh, race you played had a different language and different names for every planet. So it was quite literally impossible to um, to communicate with another race in unless you actually researched their language. Because anytime you typed in the actual in-game chat, it would be gibberish. Yeah, it would translate it to gibberish. That's yeah, so and cool. I no, I no, it was great. <laughs> the, I, oh yeah, that 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 is fantastic. And Sword of the Stars is uh, pretty Such much a free at this point. Such <laughs> a good There's game. There's no reason not to buy it. It's 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 to this day the most well like the best uh, uh, series on my channel, and I, I did it almost four years ago. Mm -hmm. All right. I think I'm starting to 
get the hang of this again and figure out how things work. I hope so. We've been almost playing it for an hour. <laughs> Figuring this shit out. Uh, like you would probably want a, a mining type of installation. And you would like to be upgraded. <laughs> Don't tell me what I want. I'll build you an, uh, a researcher doodle. Gotta get the colony ship. Doodles. And there are some fucking people on this planet. That's the type of planet that I want to planet. Well, I mean, you sure you about that? Forcibly relocate them with, you know, high yield weapons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, into the. I mean, that's what we're doing. I mean, we're, we're relocating them into the stratosphere. Just... You're, you're ionizing them and they're just floating away. I mean, they're not. I mean, I'm, I'm receiving no complaints. We're not trying to communicate with them, but we're oh, not receiving. Oh, been on. Good luck. Oh, no, oh, oh, Mitch. Oh no. Have fun. I don't know who you are, so good luck. Build lots of little ships. It was as if a thousand souls cried out in terror. <laughs> <laughs> it was as if a thousand souls cried out in a. <laughs> oh, God, nice. it, was, it was like a thousand souls took a bong hit. <laughs> <laughs> I said we'll deal with it later. So you guys <laughs> know, you know, I said I can't record next week. I might not need to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, destroy the ghost flotilla. God, why won't these people die? I need these ships. What is a private colony ship? It's a, uh, so instead of getting one of your pops onto a ship, it's like a private contractor. Mm. You just like hire a and say, like, hey, I want you to do this thing. But you don't have any control over the pop. I think it is. I think it's this way. You don't have any control yeah, no. over the pop that's, that goes out there. It's a random, I it's a say, random pop. I only got the wand, so... Well, it becomes important later on, like when you start having like ideology drifts. Yeah, might be a good idea to get some fusion missiles under the underway. <laughs> yeah, you're going there. They've got three planets wanna, as well. You might want to actually. What's the? What are they fighting for? Um, because this isn't like Hoi Four where you're gonna be full annexed. I I don't know. Oh, well, you, well, you could be full annexed, but. Yeah, then they're, they're you'll the, just be oppressed of my two planets. Fun. How big is your fleet? I have a problem. <laughs> How powerful is your primary battle fleet? 180. Uh, why is it so small? Complete. Because it got destroyed twice. <laughs> Why'd you let that happen? Okay, you you try and have your home world sieged by space squids. <laughs> Was it really just one of the random like? Squitter doodles that got yeah, you? Yeah, literally, but it was a thousand stack of them just walking past going, Hey, we're gonna destroy your shit Hey, now. there's some shit there, let's kill it. See, I don't have to worry about, like, being able to guard my homeworld from a siege, because we have good border security, and... I hear uh, you have a wall. Well, I mean, it's it's more of a... I mean, the wall's an idea. Uh, it's a statement. Uh, it's I mean, the wall is, is more or less just our... Oh god, Milt. they've found their fleet, found their fleet. Go, science ship, get out of there! Construction complete. <laughs> yeah, they're there. I, they've, they've backdoored me. Oh my. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> they really should have Don't asked first. No, <laughs> whoa. Oh god, why is their fleet so big? Oh, oh my. <laughs> so this personal really civilization is now down to four pops, and every building but one of theirs is now destroyed. So, Jesus we're making Christ. headway. I'm just sitting here turtling down in my little sphere of influence. Well, it's not, it's not like I'm doing this like outside my borders. They're, they're in my borders, which makes them my responsibility to kill. <laughs> It's like all the Eller. You gotta put it down. Aurelium Ore. I've never seen that before. I think they increased the spawn rate of a lot of the, like, they, they rebalanced, like, the unique materials. Mm hmm So they're actually, like, a uh, thing now. They're gonna take my second colony, I think, of Old Guard. I'm sorry, Patreon Old Guard, that 
Is in charge. Of, oh, I didn't put the governor in charge. Yeah, I, I have to end up apologizing to my patrons all the time. It's like, I'm going to name this really cool thing after you, face plant. <laughs> yeah, you, you yeah. live for one episode. Like in, in XCOM, uh, uh, Peter Magnuson's character, every single time he's gone to the battlefield, he's gotten one shot and carried away unconscious. Then he's out of it for like 30 days while he recuperates, goes on a new mission, gets one shot. So he never gets to like upgrade very much because he never does anything other than absorb bullets. Construction complete. Okay, they're landing troops. Construction oh, complete. They're, wait, you're being, you're, they're invading your home world? Not my home world, my secondary world. Oh, okay. Didn't you have a station there? Or did they just plow through it? No, I don't. He just colonized it. Oh, okay. Right stations. Need to build those. Need to build those. <laughs> oh, yeah. Stations. Man, stations. I was wondering why I couldn't. I uh, was starting to wonder why I couldn't build ships in other planets. Got it. We failed to invent. Uh, yeah, we lost that planet to invasion. I don't want to hear it. I'm doing fine. <laughs> the Russian the Russian quarantine administration is doing fine. The media is lying. It's all lies. <laughs> it's fake news, guys. It's fake news. It's fake news. If they say anything bad about us, it's fake. It's not real. Keep there wasn't ever poll. There wasn't anybody even on this planet when we got there. We showed up. There was this intact infrastructure, and we were just like, System "Fuck it, nobody's complete. using it." <laughs> I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, at this point, at this point, I mean, they're the crowd kid is making itself. I mean, there's four pops here. They're living in squalor. Everything's destroyed. I mean, what kind what kind of civilized society lives like that? <laughs> I mean, it's, they don't even have a functioning infrastructure or government at this point. Yay. And enslave you because your government's not enslaved. functioning and it feels non the RNI associated worlds. Spiritualists. Oh crap, I forgot to enslave these guys too. Oh no, I didn't. They get so irritable when they're not enslaved. <laughs> they get so irritable when I oh, don't. Oh, don't, don't attack the. Th no, no, please. Oh, oh the poor you bitch. From? <laughs> I don't oh. know what's going on or where it's going on, but it doesn't sound good. Midge oh. is just suffering Holocaust right now. <laughs> you know, don't even watch my stream. Don't even, don't even watch my. My view. Just go watch Mitch. He's, he's dealing with a lot of shit right now. At least give him the extra views. I surprisingly <laughs> have not failed a research project yet, which is really weird for me. Oh, I failed about nine. <laughs> no, I haven't any luck. Well, I had you a difficult to, one pop that I actually got comment. that gave me uh, gave me six uh, six blue research on a planet, which is pretty sweet. Physics research. Physics. The blue search. Oh, they destroyed my influence thing. Ah! Uh, Frontier Outpost? Yeah. And they've taken one on a planet. They, they have 51% war score on me. Yeah, they want both my planets. That's their demands. Um, so, um, you guys have fun with this Let's Play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, they're not going to kill you, are they? Yes, they are. Well, I mean, completely. Yes, they are. Well, if all those planets are annexed, I mean. <laughs> well, they're not. Yeah, I'm still defending my home. He can he can hot join in as somebody else. <laughs> he could. It's true. This is this is not this is not uh, sadly EU four where you can't you hot join doesn't fucking work. Oh, uh, I gotta say <laughs> that is one of the best things about the current generation of uh, Paradox games coming out. Fucking hot join works. That is yeah. glorious. I mean, now if they could just make a game where everything else works, that'd be, God, got that'd be great. Play. Are you kidding me? How is this place fielded like 2,000 points worth of ships? That's more than I could sustain. My, my fleet's only 500. Yeah, I'll have a non aggression pact. I'm not, I'm about to. Oh, exist, sweet. But... Only two more pops live on this planet. Great. <laughs> They're almost all dead. Woo! There's, there's only so much more nuisance I have to deal with. Oh, no, now I can move. Then after that, I can move to the second primitive civilization that I found and reduce them. 
I like how the, you use the word reduce. If you're if if you have a friend who uh, uses um, <laughs> an analogy, you know, you know, uses a synonym for a genocide, he might be a Nazi. Well, I mean, these ones are even worse. They're Iron Age, which is, I mean, so they don't even understand. Uh, they don't even have a chance to understand. Those on Arctic worlds. How you doing? Construction complete. Hey, buddy. Uh, hi, hi, Ben. <clears throat> Uh, I live on Tundras, thank you very much. I'm sorry. I don't Why have was I put next to a military junta that live on the same type of planet as me? Why? <laughs> do you, have, do you ever do you do you love the Arctic? Hates pacifists, Midge. Do you love Arctic? Because I don't know anybody who loves Arctic. So apparently, I found I primitive uh, I, I found Stone Age primitives on one of my other worlds too. Uh, like so I'm just, I'm just finding all kinds of I'm just finding all kinds of filth. This Not is an alpine world. But somebody I saw Kajubis, who is in, is owned by Iota Aliens, which I believe is you. Uh, Kajubis is me. Yep, and it's Arctic. And with that, we're gonna have to call this episode here. Oh fuck! I forgot I colonized that planet. <laughs> I see you guys that, like haven't played it in a while. It's like, how do I, how do I space despot? How do I do this? <laughs> how do I do the thing? But thank you for is joining it... us, everybody. Sounds like Midge has uh, had it, though. He might throw in the towel. I'm not sure what his plans are. We'll find <laughs> out next episode, or is he... maybe not. Is he there, Midge? Yeah, I'm here. I'm okay. Here. All right. We'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. Uh... See ya. Goodbye.